Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 1159, which is a hard level, and I've played it through 10 times, and I can see that it requires a bit of luck. So I'm going to bring two uh, lucky boosters in with me. One is this color bomb. This will help me to prevent getting a reshuffle right away that leads to nothing, because three of my 10 games ended within two to three moves. So uh, I'm going to bring that in. The second thing I'm going to bring in is a jellyfish. Um, because the jellyfish, it adds this candy to the mix. And so I'll be able to get more than just one fish throughout the game. Now let's talk about what we need to do in our strategies. We have 45 moves to clear out 24 jelly and reach 24,000 points. The jelly are trapped under this frosting and here in the center. We cannot access this until we open up either this or this. But let me tell you, this is the one to go for. I know this through experience. <laughs> if I open this, it's only going to uh, populate about half of this wheel. But because of the direction of the conveyor belt, if I open this, things will flow through. And as this moves, it'll tick down, it'll make an empty spot, and more will flow through, and we'll be able to get a full circle. So this is the one I want to shoot for first, if I'm able. Now, if I have an opportunity that doesn't involve the um, color bomb, I'm going to take that first, let the fish go, take out something, and I love the cascading. So this is the quadrant I want to work on first. If I can't, I want to work here. If I can't, I'll work I, any other place, but especially here because now I've already opened this up a bit. And if I can get these out of the way, then I've got candy instead of frosting. And so my work is done. Now let's also talk about the conveyor because that means determine which one I want to use. This conveyor belt system uh, goes up here and then it's going to go to here. So the next one scheduled to go through is a purple. I have a lot of purple up there. But then if I move this, it's green and green doesn't really help either. Um, but so it goes this way and then comes here till it gets to pink. This is the only other pink portal. So it comes this way and goes to green goes up to here, doesn't cross over, goes up to here, and then comes back around this way and starts again. So uh, let's do this. So now I have one more spot that's not frosting and therefore candy. And unfortunately I was hoping, well, maybe I'll be able to hold on to this until I can use it with a special, but that didn't happen. So I can take out either green or purple. I'm going to see which is most prevalent. So purple is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, with one right here next to this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to go with the green. It's going to concentrate the colors and hopefully allow me to make more matches and specials now. Now this is going to go through to here, and we're going to get some purple to line up. That's not bad. And notice I did this one first because this one's operating this way, but I knew that I would still have this opportunity. The way the um, conveyor belt system works is important to what choices you make on the board. So now I will be able to make a special. This is going to tick around and it's going to set off the fish, but it's also going to take some things out here. Okay. Now we also have ticking time bombs coming out. Uh, they haven't been too much trouble for me in the past. I've always been able to get rid of them. But I will keep an eye on them, especially because we're closed in right now. And especially if it hits like four. So it's going to go this way and come up here. And there's no blue over here to help me. I'm going to make this move. It's going to set this off, drop this down a little bit, and take out a frosting. I'm wondering if maybe I can get more blue to cooperate over here. Oh, so now we do have blue coming up that way. So good. If I can make any other move, I will. Guess what? Can't really make any of the move except right here. Hopefully that's still good. Phew! All right, taking out frosting. I can't move here where I want to. Notice there's nothing for me to do here. And then my second choice would be here. My third choice is here. I have no moves while well, I have this one that is nothing. So I guess I'll take the one that takes out one little jelly. But that's not what I want to do. I'm, I'm not in the mood to take out jelly right now. I have to get rid of all the frosting first. Of course, I have to take the only moves available. I'm 
very frustrating. I wanted to operate on the um, upper tiers first, and now the lower tiers are completely clean of frosting, and I still have so much frosting up here. Uh, bringing purple up into here isn't going to help much. Oh wait, I can take out a frosting. Oh, probably should have worked on that. Looks like I'll get a second chance. I cannot make any move here anyway. I can make a special. Ooh, I can make a special that operates up this way. Unless that slides down. Of course, it's going to slide down because this is the only move I have to make. Did I tell you that luck is a requirement on this board? <laughs> Did I tell you I haven't been lucky so far? And now we're starting to populate in here. And notice it's only taking through half. Oh, here we go. Make strikes on that frosting. Well, this is uh, finally looking like I may have some success. I may be able to win this board. Of course, I had to use two boosters, and I will use more if I need to. I've got lolly hammers and switch hands up here that I'm not opposed to using. I also have some UFOs, but those never replenish through the daily boosters. So I'm going to avoid using those if I'm able. Okay, still no move here. Um, and really, one, two, three, four, those are the only jelly I have left on the board. So everything else is just waiting for something here to be put into position. Let's put the blues together. Now this populates. Now we can make some moves here. Uh, this is still going to, well, no, it's going to tick through. Let's make this move. Because if I make moves here, things slide through this way, and it could create some nice cascading. Um, I like the way that's ticking through with the blue. I'm going to do this. A little detonation celebration. So I have one jelly left. And I've got blue set up on this board. Hmm. Let's make a move here to bring things through. There, oh, close. There we go. And now I'm guaranteed to win because I tell you what, if I don't win by any other means, I'm going to take a lolly hammer and hit that thing. Okay, so I have a fish on the board. Come on, fish. Detonate. There we go. So that's how I beat this level. Ten tries. Uh, and then bringing in two boosters, and on the first try I was able to uh, complete it. Now, I only had two moves left, so it was a little bit sketchy. Um, but again, if you want to beat this level without boosters, just try it one more time, or ten more times, or a hundred or a thousand more times until you get a lucky board, or bring in your boosters to help you. If you want to see more videos, you can subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.